Oh my god, guys. FIFA is here. It's actually here. Yes, the long anticipated release of FIFA 21. Finally, people have been going mad for this game now. And I've been addicted to it. It's been about a week since I first got it. And yeah, first up, I'm going to show you what's changed on career mode. And then we'll jump into Ultimate Team and a few other game modes and see what they've improved or what's gotten worse. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of this video. Take it easy, guys. Peace. Alright guys, this is finally FIFA 21, a bit of gameplay for you guys before I get into more detail. And yeah, it's just a pre-season friendly on my career mode with Leeds, where I've got loads of money basically. Because the, the new thing is you can request how much money is put into the club. Uh, I requested the full amount, 500,000 and... I've been spending it since then, and uh, yeah, it's just it's just a preseason game. My first few games playing it, really, and uh, yeah, I would say the main difference is like the amount of skills the players can do and how easy it is to do them. And of course, that, that's offside right there. But in general, like I think maybe maybe crossing is better. Because I've scored a few well crossed goals that on the other FIFA, no one had any chance. And so, yeah, this is me just trying it out. The players feel a bit like slower, I don't know, but that's just when, whenever I start a new FIFA. It's got, always got a weird feel to it. But as I'm growing into the game here, uh, going for goal. Nice little finish there. Pablo Hernandez. What they are. They're really soft. And uh, they give free kicks for anything, almost. They're a bit stricter. Um, but yeah, I mean, I that's, I'm finding that annoying. And uh, of course, here's another goal. Yeah, 2-0. Of course, the layout of the whole thing, all the menus and everything is different. Pretty much. Look at that cross. And look at that finish. I could never do that on the other FIFA. Maybe I'm just not good at the game, but... That wasn't possible on the old FIFA. But yeah, I'm gonna... And here we go guys, this is the... Like, the main page for your career mode. And you've got the weekly schedule, which I'm going in now. That way it shows you what days your players can recover. Have a rest and train in between your games. Um, and you can choose this yourself, which is great. Um, it's a bit of extra work, so it's like annoying for me in that sense um, but make what you will of it I guess depends how detailed you want your career to be if you even care about career mode uh, but for me yeah they messed it up on the last one so you can contr now control their fitness their sharpness well their morale not really but I guess depends how much you train them and work them uh, within your team and of course the other big, big thing that I'm going to move on to is the development of players. So what they've done now is they've given you this ability to choose the development of your players. You can alter their position and their style within that position. Of course the problem with this is that if you make a central midfielder, a central defensive midfielder, um, they can't play the other position. So I made one of my players a CDM and he can't play CM anymore. So what this means is that a little exclamation mark appears on, in front of their name on the team sheet um, warning you. And either it's yellow or red. If it's red, they definitely can't play there. And it will affect their game, basically. And I don't like this at all. As an improvement, well, I wouldn't call it an improvement, to be honest. 
it's just annoying. Because if you're you ain't got enough CMs, uh, you got you could put someone else there. You know, you can move someone out of position, or you could do on the older Fifas. But now you have to choose to develop them into that position. A bit more like real life though, but still like um, annoying if you're low on players in a position. If you know, you'd have to develop them and move them into that position. And then they can't play their original position. So it's like... What's the point? That's my only criticism really. So here you can train your players basically. Choose the drill. Choose which players do it. And sim it like I do. Basically. And it's to increase their sharpness. It will decrease their fitness. But overall, you know... You, it's best to train them really the players that are starting week in week out they'll get sharpness from playing so I tend to train players that have less sharpness which is that little diamond symbol on the right hand side under each of their names of course you know what the other symbol is that's the fitness and it will decrease their fitness but they'll gain that back on the rest day before the game so that's what I've chosen to do and yeah, it helps, I'll be honest, because it keeps them match match ready, match fit, basically. And that's great, I would say. I've never played the drill. I always just sim it, because who cares, right? It's just there. Um, to f make it feel real, I guess. And there you go. I mean, nothing else to that, really. It's pretty simple as well. And this is it, guys. Ultimate Team. On FIFA 21. And yeah. So the layout is the first thing I notice. It's a bit mental. So you go up for the stadium. And down for the squad. So you can edit a lot more things around the stadium. And obviously the squad layout. Once you get on there it's pretty similar really. And I'll sh go through my team. Well so far. It's a bit rubbish at the moment. Just bear with me guys. So as you can see down here. I got my best player, Azeeman. Well, he's pretty pacey from Napoli. And uh, yeah, I recommend getting this guy in career mode if you can, because he's tall and he's fast. But for ultimate team, I'm not really sure if he's that good yet. But we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, guys, that was ultimate team. I'm going to leave you with the game I played on this. Some of the highlights from it, really. Uh, I didn't win the game, but uh, my goals were pretty sick. So enjoy that and I'll see you on the next video guys. Peace. Yes. What a goal. Look at that goal. It's got three minutes. Well, no damage done. Correa. Come on, mate. Let's do this. Can he do it? Yes. Through here. Must yes. Three wide. The they okay, guys, I was worried about this formation. But now it's paid off. I'll say that now, but like, what? In the same time, I'll be fair. Wait, how is he going to be passing? Ericsson. Oh, it's mucked, and mucked him up. Oh, he's going to go home crying to his mum.